All of the focus tends to be on the negative part of this, the greenhouse gases, the, those types of things. But what we have to realize is that cows are a very, very important part of our food security picture. Cows have the unique ability to take things that we can't eat and turn them into things that we can eat. This is a concept that we call upcycling, where they make more human edible protein or whatever nutrient you're talking about than they actually consume. Cows in North America utilize uh, large quantities of byproducts. These are products that we can't use in our human food system or won't use in our human food system, and they turn it into very, very high quality milk in this case, or meat if they are fed to beef cattle. But what we don't often consider, and it's a really, really important part of this picture, is that these cows are using these byproducts that we wouldn't know what to do with otherwise. If we were to take the byproducts fed to these dairy cows uh, and put them through a composting process, which we might want to do uh, to be able to recover some of the nutrients in these byproducts, the carbon footprint of those materials would go up approximately five times what they would be if they went through a, a dairy cow. If we decide to put them in a landfill, which is the most likely scenario given the infrastructure that we have, the carbon footprint of those byproducts would be 50 times what they would be if you, they went through a dairy cow. So it's really important when we are proposing making changes to our food systems that we understand what some of these potential knock-on effects of, of the decisions that we make and, and recognize the role that these cows are playing in preventing these greenhouse gases from going into the environment. Mm -hmm.